Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So today being Wednesday and it is Black History Month, this week's brand I want to feature Juvia's Place. Now I've tried Juvia's Place a ton of times and I love all of the products that I tried so I thought that I would recreate this look that I was wearing in my last video which I used mainly Juvia's Place products for. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe to my channel if you're new here, turn on your notifications that way you'll be notified every single time I upload which is every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 6 p.m. So yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I know that I said this is a Black History video and I was going to be using Juvia's Place and I am, but I don't have a yellow uh, shadow from Juvia's Place. I only had orange and like a bunch of different other colors. So I decided to use this BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette because it had a bunch of different colors in it. And I used the yellow out of here and the orange shades out of here. And I just used the yellow as my transitional color. And being that it is like such a lightweight shade, you do have to build it up. So I just kind of went back and forth in with windshield wiper motions to build up the consistency of the yellow color that I wanted. I went up a little bit higher than my crease so that this yellow could really stand out from the rest of the colors, which I think it did a pretty good job of doing. Then I decided to go in with the orange shade, which is right next to the yellow in this palette and I know that Juvia's Place has a lot of oranges and I do have a lot of oranges from them but I just wanted to go ahead and use this one. I feel like this one was the brightest and again you just have to build up the yellow to get to the consistency of the color that you want like the pigment that you want. Alright so then I went in with a little bit of concealer to cut my crease and if you guys I've talked about this trick a million times while you do this just put a little bit on the center open your eyelid to see exactly where your crease ends at and then go ahead and follow that outline and cut your crease. I talked about this in multiple videos but just in case somebody's new and they haven't heard that before just a little tip there so I went ahead and I applied I think this is a NYX concealer yeah I was really just focusing on Juvia's Place so I don't even remember to be honest with you but I believe it was the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer so I went ahead and cut my crease with that and then once I finished cutting my crease I decided to go in with Juvia's Place which I'm actually really excited about. This is the Masquerade palette. I love this palette. It has such beautiful colors in it. And I'm going to be working with these two shades here. So I'm going to be working with the purple and the blue. I decided to go in with the blue shade first just to kind of set it as a base. And then I at first my intentions was to just put this where I put the concealer which I did and then just be done with the look but once I got it on I didn't really like it that much like it wasn't what I was going for I wanted more of a purple blue tone which I know wasn't in this palette but I don't know what I was really going for I just I wasn't really feeling it so I was like you know what I want to add this purple so I went back in and I added the purple and what I did for the purple was I patted it on a little bit in the center and I took whatever was left on the brush and just kind of swept it over the blue part just to kind of that way it wouldn't take away from the blue so you can still see that blue peeking through but you also can see the purple as well and I think it all went together great don't you think I think so And then I went in with a blending brush that had no product on it and I just went in and blended out any harsh lines and just got rid of any harsh lines and just blended everything together to make it all flow together. And then I went in with this like white creamy gold shade and I used that as my brow bone highlight which I love by the way it is such a beautiful color. Alright, for my wing eyeliner, I used one from LA Colors and I actually like this. I did this, I got this in my Dollar Tree video and I've been using it ever since. I really, really like it. The only thing I don't like is that it is very watery when you first apply it, so it does kind of give me your eyes a little bit. But other than that, it looks really good and it works really good and it's easy to apply. Now, 
it was really hard for me to apply my liner on camera because I kept going in and out of focus. So we just moved on to the lashes, okay? <laughs> and for lashes, I also used some from LA Colors as well. And I got these in my Dollar Tree video too. I think I've used these lashes three times since then and they are holding up pretty well. This is probably going to be my last time using them. Or either I may clean them again and try to get at least one more use out of them. But I think they last and held up pretty good for them to be Dollar Tree lashes, you know? Like one dollar lashes, really good. So I will have them, the exact name of them listed below. But let's go ahead and move on to the lower lash line. So I just used this white base because I really wanted the colors to pop on my lower lash line. And I used these two color eyeliners from ColourPop. And I don't even know if they still make these. I used the yellow one and the orange one. My yellow one kind of broke when I got to this eye. So that's why it doesn't have that much yellow on it but yeah and then I felt like there wasn't enough so I went in with the yellow and the orange from the BH Cosmetics and just kind of blended that on my lower lash line and then I just kind of blended it so it can still pop through and I wanted the purple and blue to also peek through on the bottom so I didn't add any product to this brush I just used what was already on the brush and blended it under the lower lash line and I think it turned out pretty well. Alright, so I did go in and add a little bit of mascara to the top and bottom lashes. But again, I'm out of focus here because I'm all up in the mirror. So we're just going to go ahead and skip. Going back in with Juvia's Place, I'm going to take that same white golden shade and apply that to my inner tear duct. I like inner tear duct highlighted colors. You don't necessarily have to go in with this if you're someone who doesn't like these. But I like them. And this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see the face makeup, definitely click the link in the description box below. It's under L'Oreal new products that are out so i'll have that link below if you guys are interested in it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and turn on your notifications if you're new here that way you'll be notified every single time i upload and yes i think that is about it i hope you guys are having an amazing day thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys